this is your boy Kufa. Today we're going to solve an amazing math question two. For that matter, this will help us in our BC preparation. Let's look at those questions. They are factorization questions and algebraic expressions. The first question: factorize completely this expression to bracket m plus n four times two x minus y minus mx minus nx. I hope you are getting a few ideas. That's good. Let's look at how we solve this. So solution to the question. Let's write the whole expression again. The whole expression. So we have this expression. I want to underline something so that I will take note of something. I want to underline this. Uh, something is telling me that I can do something about that. What can I do? So minus mx minus nx. What if I sit down and find out that x is common to both of them? Minus x is common to both of them. So when I bring minus x out, this will be m. This will be what? Positive n. How is that possible? You know that negative x times m is the same as negative mx. Positive n times negative x. This time that you get a negative nx. So you get this expression back. Positive times negative will give you negative. I hope you get it. So now that we get it, let's do something. So first factor out in the uh, x out in the underlying part of the expression. So that's what we've done. Let's look at it. Good. So we've gotten a new expression where x is out. We have m plus n. Now something can be observed again. m plus n is common to both. m plus n is common to both. So imagine m plus n is a and this is b. This is b. And this is this x is c. And this is what b as we've already described. How will you factorize it? You bring the b out and a minus what c. Good. That's the same thing we are going to do here. And how will we do it? Let's look at it. Good. So now because m plus n is common, we've done it in such a way that if this is b, if this is b as I've already described, and this is what this whole thing a t. I hope we all understand. Very good. So what do we get? Now we'll bring this negative as close to this 2x so that we can do the subtraction. You can do it directly, but I want to show you how we get it. So you get m plus n is times n plus n times x minus y. That's our final answer because it cannot be factorized anymore. That's all. Uh, good to go simple question with a lot of marks don't be losing questions marks on questions like this they are very easy don't waste time to expand everything oh no no you are wasting your time your time is limited you have only one hour so always find means to make your work short and easy to understand and also make sure to get the answer that's very important Breathe in and out before you start a paper free good Let's move on to the second question. Factorize completely the expression 81 minus all into brackets x minus 3 is all squared. Hmm. Let's look at how we solve this question too. I hope you are getting ideas for this one too. Very simple question. Let's look at it. So this is our expression. So the underline, I'm going to underline something small for us. S minus three is squared. We can see that. So let's try. Let's try to, you know, express 81 as a square of a number. 81 as a square of a number. What would this help us do? Let's look at it. We are going there gradually. So what squared will give us 81? 9 squared. 
9 squared minus x minus 3 all squared. It's the same as 81 minus x minus 3 all squared. Now we have this. Help us express it as a difference of two squares. I hope you remember that. It helps a lot in factorization, especially when you have squares. So if you've forgotten, I'm just reminding you of it. So we have a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. That's how to do it. So there are some minus there are difference. Simple. So here too, we can do the same. So note that here the a is our 9 and the b is our what? x minus 3. The whole thing. Hmm? The whole thing. x minus 3. So a plus b, as we see here, is 9 plus x minus 3. Then a minus b is 9 minus into brackets x minus 3. Don't make this mistake. Otherwise, you'll not get the correct answer. This should be treated as 1. You get me? Thank you very much. What do we have? 9 plus x minus 3. Now, let's start moving the bracket from it. 9 plus x minus 3 times 9 minus x plus 3. You know why it's plus 3? Nege, nege. Oh, simple. It looks like we can simplify further. So let's do so. So 9 minus 3 plus x. Move this 9 uh, minus 3 close to the 9 plus x. All times 9 move this plus 3 close to the 9 so 9 plus 3 minus x what do we get so here 9 minus 3 so 6 so 6 plus s times 12 minus x and i'm telling you as easy as it was this is our final answer very simple question hmm? very simple i hope you'll be able to solve questions like the difference of two squares i'll not leave you just like that i'll give you a few questions so try these questions, factorize the following completely, apply what we've learned today and what you already know. So you can pause and write them down and we'll answer these questions in the upcoming videos. If you have any challenge, let us know. Ask questions in the comment field. Ask questions in the comment field. Thank you. Goodbye. All the best in the BC.